Hi and welcome to FreshTeam. This video is a quick demo of the FreshTeam HR software. I'll walk you through the product, the different modules, features and how it can help your everyday workflows. Once you sign in to the account, you'll see the employee portal. You can navigate to the employee section to add stakeholders. These stakeholders will include hiring managers, recruiters, panel members, admins, and reporting managers. Everyone you add here will be able to log in and access the employee portal. To add employees, click on add employee, fill out the details, assign an appropriate fresh team role to them and send them an invite. They'll receive an email through which they can set a username and password to access fresh team. If you'd like to import a bunch of employees at once, use the import option. You can either import them through a CSV or in case you are a G Suite or Office 365 user, you can also import from them into fresh team. Moving on to the recruit section, all users who have been assigned the recruiter role will be able to log in and raise requisitions based on the hiring requirements. Once the requisition is approved, the hiring team will be notified about it. The hiring team can open any requisition and associate an already available job to it. The hiring manager will also be able to keep track of what's happening with the requisition right here. That's the number of candidates who have been offered, hired or have already joined. Hiring team members can navigate to the recruit section to view all the published jobs that are open and their statuses. Every job is given one of the three statuses, which is private, public or internal. The status will restrict the visibility of that particular job. Public jobs are visible to anyone. Private jobs are visible just to the hiring team members and internal jobs can be viewed only by the employees. To add a new job, add job posting, type in the title you are hiring for. Let's say you are looking for a help desk manager. Fresh Team suggests titles as you type. This is because we offer inbuilt job descriptions that you use right away. You also have the option to write your own job description. You can fill out more job details like department, job type and location. You can configure these drop down lists in settings. You can make any edits to the description if you want to. Maybe add or remove keywords or tweak responsibilities or just about anything. All the fields below the description are for internal use. You can fill them out and hit publish. The job gets published on the career site. You can visit the career site to see the job posting. Candidates can view the job, click on apply, fill the details and submit their applications. When they submit their applications, will be sourced into your employee portal. We provide a default career website but Fresh Team allows for plenty of customizations. You can personalize the look and feel of the site through the employee portal. For a better reach, you can also publish the jobs to other job boards. Fresh Team integrates with all of these job boards. You can switch the toggle to indicate or enable the job boards you'd like to publish to and save. At any given point, you can come back and edit the list of job boards you are publishing to. The job gets published to all the enabled job boards in 24 to 48 hours. As candidates start applying, they'll be sourced into Fresh Team. Now we are on the job details page of the job we created. This is where you can edit the job description, the title, description or any other details you entered while creating the job. There are a couple of other things you can do here. Customizing the jobs application form. You can decide what fields to add, have or not have. You can set up a hiring team for the job. The team can have recruiters, hiring managers and panel members who are involved in the hiring process for this particular job. The people you see here are those you added as employees in the employee directory. After you have created a hiring team, you can configure a hiring workflow for the job. You can customize the scorecards for each job and define the skills you are assessing for. Your interviewers can rate the candidates based on these skills. The preview shows how the scorecard appears 
to the interviewers. You can copy paste core cards from another job. You can control their visibility for panel members too. You can then configure the hiring process itself. That is the various stages involved in hiring for that particular job. These are the default stages configured for each job. Based on your company's hiring process, you can add a new stage, edit an existing stage or remove a stage to create your perfect hiring process. Fresh Team enables you to create interview kits where you can include the skills that are to be assessed in each stage. This helps interviews look for specifics as they interview and also evaluate candidates on a uniform scale. Fresh Team's Autopilot allows you to automate everyday transactional tasks. The feature enables you to create automations that take care of routine tasks. These are some sample templates we offer. Now let's say every time a candidate is advanced to the return text stage, you want Fresh Team to automatically send him or her an acknowledgement. Let's set up an automation to achieve that. Click on create new automation. You'll see an automation setup page with three different columns. The event at which the automation should be triggered, conditions based on which it should be executed and the action to execute. When the candidate gets moved to a new stage and the stage name is return test, send the candidate an email acknowledgement. Once I save this, the automation will be enabled and any candidate who's moved advanced for a return test will receive an email acknowledgement. This is just one example. There are plenty of other automations you can set up using the Fresh Team Autopilot. We recommend you to try it during the trial. Apart from the candidates that apply to your jobs through the career site and job boards, there are other ways to add candidates to the system. You can manually add candidates through the add candidate option. Just drag and drop their resume into the system. Fresh team automatically passes the resume and populates the first name, last name, email and other fields. You can then click add to add the candidate profile to the job. You can bulk import candidates through a CSV or a spreadsheet. You'll notice two templates here. Simply download one of them, fill and upload them to create candidates in the system. You can bulk import resumes through a zip file to create candidates. Compress the resumes into a zip file and import them here. In Fresh Team, you can also manage your vendors or third-party consultants. You ought to first add them as part of the system in settings and then you can associate them to jobs they'll be hiring for. Once that's done, they'll be able to log into your system and upload candidates. Let's navigate to the candidates view to see how your incoming candidates appear. Click on the job. You'll be presented with a candidate Kanban view. The Kanban view will present all the stages we have configured in the hiring process in the job details section. Each stage has a list of candidates who have applied for the job and are in the active state. We have a set of predefined filters here to help you view candidates selectively. You can multi-select candidates and perform bulk actions on them, send bulk emails, reject them or move them to even another job. To move a candidate to the next stage, simply drag and drop them. To view the candidate's profile, click on the candidate and candidate 360 opens. You'll be able to access any information about the candidate from right here. You can preview their resumes and even download it. The conversations section has the entire history of communication with the candidates. You can take a look at their timeline to get a sense of what's been happening with candidate and when. You can click on schedule to start scheduling interviews for the candidate. Fresh Team integrates with Google Calendar and Outlook so you can view interviewers availability and block slots for the interviews. Choose the time slot, the interview stage and click on add then schedule and continue. On the following screen you have the option to notify the candidates about the interview as well. Once you schedule, the interviewer will get an email with the submit feedback button. During the interview, the interviewer will see a screen similar to this 
where they can preview the resume, take quick notes, rate the candidate for different skills, and then finally leave an overall recommendation and submit their feedback. On the Candidate 360, you have the option to reject the candidate, archive them, add a tag, send test, or perform various other actions. You can use the Tasks section to add candidate-specific tasks and assign them to fellow employees. You can create a task, fix a due date, and leave a description. The assignee will receive an email notification with the task details. It will also appear as part of their open task list. They can click and mark it as complete once they have done it. So that's Fresh Team's candidate view for you. Let's take a look at the reports that are available. You can access all Fresh Team reports from here. We also have advanced analytics where you can create your own reports. We also provide curated reports based on the activities you perform in the system. These are the standard reports we have. The recruitment pipeline report gives you a peek into what your hiring pipeline looks like. The total number of candidates in the pipeline in different stages, including the total number of candidates who have applied, candidates in screening and in face-to-face -face stage. You can export this data to a CSV or view it here. You can view the pipeline movement over a period of time. Choose a specific duration for which you'd like to see your pipeline movement. The time to hire report shows the time it takes to close a candidate for an open position and the time your candidates spend in each stage in the hiring process. You can view this for different departments, job title, experience and other parameters as well. You can use this to optimize your hiring speed and process from time to time. This is the recruit section. An employee, recruiter or interviewer can access the Fresh Team dashboard. The interview section lists all the interviews scheduled for them, the overall list of scheduled interviews, the status of their referrals, upcoming celebrations in the team and updates on new joinees. On the right pane, you can also see the candidate summary, which quickly shows the number of new candidates, responses from candidates, and any pending actions. This is the recruit module available in Fresh Team. In settings, you have the option to configure offer letter templates. Click on templates, create the offer letter as a Word document. You can use the inbuilt placeholders we provide. Then click on add, upload the Word document here, and save it. So the next time you move a candidate to the offered stage, you'll notice an option to offer the person. Fill out the compensation, then a validity date. You can add more fields to the template while configuring the template in settings. Save and continue. You'll see an option to select a template. When you select a template, you'll be able to view the offer letter with the respective fields populated. If everything is ready, you can email it to the candidate right away or click done and save it for later. Once this is done, you'll notice an option on candidate 360. In the offer section where you can make any edits to the offer if necessary. Any candidate who has been moved to the hiring stage becomes a part of the onboarding setup in Fresh Team. From here, you can send them a welcome kit which can have forms to fill, documents to sign or even the company handbook. Your new hires can fill out their personal, educational, professional information and even upload signed documents. This way, you can get done with their formalities even before day one. Next step, you can initiate onboarding tasks internally. The onboarding checklist is configured in settings. In the checklist, you can list all the tasks that have to be done internally as part of onboarding a new hire. This can include IT service requests or even to-dos for the HR. At any point after initiating onboarding, you can track the status of onboarding checklist by clicking on view checklist. This will give you an idea of what's done and what's not. After all the tasks are completed, you can click complete onboarding and add the new hire as an employee. Fresh team 
will automatically populate all the information provided by the new hire into the employee directory. Your new hire will now be a part of your employee directory. So that's how we close the loop with Fresh Team. From raising a requisition to onboarding a new hire, Fresh Team covers it all.